Guys, I will be having a lecture on a very rare concept, and this concept is the Vero Montanum, okay, also known as the seminal colliculus. We'll be looking at the Vero Montanum, we'll be looking at the location, we'll be looking at the contents, okay, and why are we studying the Vero Montanum? Okay, so our focus today is to discuss the Vero Montanum, also known as the seminal colliculus, right? So looking at here, this is the seminal colliculus, and in most diagrams, you see it labeled as sem seminal colliculus. Most people don't know that seminal colliculus is also known as very montano, okay? So this is some um, seminal colliculus, all right? This this area here, like a P, right? So we'll be talking about this area, I'll we'll be talking about, of course, it is in the prostrate gland, all right? We're talking about the contents of this area and everything, okay? So the very montano, also known as the seminal colliculus, is a rounded eminence. Located within the posterior wall of the mid prostatic urethra. How about the location and structure? The very montanum lies distal to the entrance of the ejaculatory duct, where it where the corresponding vas deferens and seminal vesicle feed into the ejaculatory duct. Okay, it is characterized by a distinctive median elevation of urothelium resembling a mountain ridge when magnified. Embryologically, it originates from the uterovaginal primordium, okay? So looking at this again, you have the seminal colliculus, and this is the area that we are talking about, okay? I'll say that it is related to the, you see openings of the ejaculatory duct, and there's openings of prostatic utricle. We'll talk about everything, okay? So the margins of the seminal uh, colliculus include orifices of prostatic utricle, okay and slit like openings of ejaculatory ducts just talking about the contents okay and openings of prostatic ducts okay uh prostatic ducts maybe they are not labeled though but you know that seminal fluid is produced in the prostate so before it gets to the urethra okay it has to come out through the prostate okay so prostatic ducts are the uh, channels okay so clinical significance there's our posterior urethral valves the very montanum serves as an essential anatomical landmark in congenital anomaly called posterior urethral valves. In newborn male infants, there is developmental obstruction of the urethra at this location. Okay? Developmental obstruction of urethra at this junction. All right? Just a final picture for you guys to feed your eyes. Uh, this is a seminal colliculus. This whole area inside the prostate gland. All right, I in it you have the prostatic utricle, you have the ejaculatory duct, and you have the prostatic duct. Okay, so final slide now we have urethral carcinoid tumor. Really, carcinoid tumor can occur at the very montano. Hypospedias in hypospedias disorders, the very montano may migrate downward and be ab absorbed, okay, and be absorbed in bulbous. Okay, and, and be observed in bulbous or pineal portion of the urethra, okay? So instead of it being in the prostatic portion of the urethra, it is descending into the pineal portion of the urethra, okay? That's definitely some issue. So remember this. Um, remember, this small but significant structure plays a crucial role in urological development and pathology, okay? So guys, that's the um, very montanum, also known as a seminal colliculus all right talking about its anatomy uh its location and its contents okay so that's it i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now